whatever that sound was. I don't think it was an enemy in Destiny 1. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey! Never mind. They were totally Destiny 1. The, uh, the cursed ones were the upgraded versions. And, uh, I think they first showed up in the DLC, actually, for Destiny 1. But yeah, they were they were a really big thing in that Rise of Forest. Was it Rise? I don't, know. I don't remember. <laughs> the first two DLC packs for Destiny One were really boring. And really... Honestly, they, they they were better than the base game for sure, but they weren't that much better. And then the um, Taken King came out, which was way better than the base game. Then uh, I actually didn't play the Wolf War. or the Icy One. Crusader guy. I don't know, but We've made it to the converter platforms. Okay, get to the stalled pistons. See what's jamming them. Once they're all moving, we're in business. Up here. Up here. There we go. It's just yeah, it's just hive gunk. Oh, come on. No. Oh yeah, found the problem. The hive have gunked up the pistons. Mm. Then let's we find assume a anything fix. else? First piston's good to go. We gave it a power scrubbing. That's great and all, but uh, it's still pretty dark on this end. Sounds like you got more scrubbing to do, Guardian. Where? Which is the next one we want to go to? Uh, that one, right? How do we? Okay, over here. Gosh, I was not expecting. Ah, shit. That's not a good sound. Why? I don't see anything. If enemies attacked you here, that'd be pretty hardcore. Like just flying enemies? I don't think the game it has flying enemies. Ah, crap. Reloading. Hey. This, this gun's pretty awesome. Where are you going? Come back here. Okay, awesome. I think we actually have stuff we can spend points on. It's uh, over here, right? So now we got the better melee, which is awesome. And I really want this one because this one's like the quick descend, but we only get into later. And I don't want to get that one. I'm going to use all our points for this first. So igniting touch. So we can light people on fire. Uh, pretty neat. And we want to go up here. Yeah, there we go. Whoa! Oh god! That was Wait, that was it? Really? No way. Yeah, there's, there's got to be more though. There we go. I was expecting at least one. Ow. Where to now? In here. And we gotta punch this thing real hard too, don't we? Good, we good. Final piston is clear. Control center's still dark, so it's gotta be more than a piston problem. I have to get in butts with the circuit breakers. That I can do. Try the central platform. Everything routes through there. Yeah, this whole jumping section would be a lot quicker if I got like a quick descend. I wish they wouldn't like why would they have that? locked until you get to level 12. It seems like something you would want immediately, you know? Movement options, come on! Other games have figured this out. Oh, well, here Oh, that was... Oh, of course there's one. Those are way easier than Destiny 1. They usually take a long time to kill Destiny 1, but that's not enough. What the heck am I... Get the hell out of here. I guess they're way more basic enemies. Yeah, why can't we have wizards attacking us while we? Circuit breaker is going to be around there somewhere. Find right. it and flip the up. switch. I can't Just up. like I said. Oh. Yeah, they were way more tough in Destiny One. Okay, circuit breaker here. Right. Hello. Restoring power, please. Did you get it? I did something. Yeah! Sciencey bullshit is happening over there. Exemplary work, everyone. But we still
still have to deal with these intercepted enemy transmissions. Oh, gear. Get a vector. Oh my god. Okay, so that was that mission. I wonder if we have a story mission next or another side mission futz around. Hmm. God. If I eat if I drink like two cups of the instant coffee per day. That's still gonna be like Almost two months of just straight instant coffee. I'd get sick of it so badly. Hello. Hi, Sloan. It's a hell of a view, oh, isn't it? Oh shit, I get one We're of these? We're up running, thanks to you. I do? There's plenty more to do around here, though. Chief among them, finally breaking ground on a counter-offensive against the Red Legion. I have a plan, but it won't work without you. We intercepted a Priority One Red Legion signal during the city evacuation, but we can't crack the encryption. Holiday says there's tech that can do the job in the Arcology, which is effectively hostile territory. You'd be going in blind. The place has been dark for centuries. All we know for sure is the Hive is raising hell down there, perhaps literally. But if you're in, let's Shh. put the plan into action. Sure. Uh, I think I want this, right? I don't know. They're all they're all good, but I think this one will look cooler. So we're just picking that based on looks alone. Uh, that is actually better. That's better, which I might want. And it's dirt cheap, so we help. might as well, right? I don't think I need any new weapons though. I do really like my weapons. Okay. Did I just get robes? Did I just get two robes? I'm an idiot. What? What do you mean what? And. Yeah, let's equip that. That looks really cool. It also doesn't match anything else I'm wearing. Let's see, is that? Yeah, we want that. Okay, yeah. So the one time I do buy stuff is for shit we don't need at all. So let's not... Let's avoid buying stuff again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like all my weapons. Did I level up? No, no, no. I already, I already did. Okay. Where to? Where do you want me to go? Do I have to do, like, field missions? Let's see. Alright. Give me a sit rep. Yeah, right there. Recommended power 60. So we can do that right now. Which I think I will. I have my orders. Let's what get this is done. our level? Because that was 60, right? We're 80. Oh yeah, we can go right there. Hi, Topher. Yeah, I think this environment is a bit better than the other one, you know? It just looks more fun. What's this? What's the thing? Alkane? Oh, right, there's, uh... There's materials in the Destiny. <laughs> I always forget. I never bothered, you know, crafting much, so... There's a, there's a few neat things that you can get, but nothing you really need. That guy's dicked. Yeah, those orange places we can do on my own time, because, wow, those were really boring. But the red missions are pretty damn fun, so let's go do those. And 60 light power level is pretty low compared to our stuff. Does it want me to go here, or like around, or through? I'm gonna assume around? I'm not, I'm not sure. It looks like it's supposed to be around, yeah. Gosh, are there enemies in this overworld? I don't see anything at all. Oh, yeah, there's a reason. Oh! Hey, so. I thought I had to have, like, Dawnblade active or something, but I think I just hover whenever I. That's really cool. <laughs> Must be due to our fancy schmancy golden tunic or whatever. Alright, in here, the Red War. Start mission. And yeah, we, we, we have 80 power levels, so. We should totally be okay for this. Okay, awesome. Utopia? Secure Golden Age CPU to decrypt Red Legion in Holiday has detected an unusual amount of electricity being redirected into the Arcology. Yep. Juice like that can only mean one thing. A network of CPUs. Powerful ones. Maybe powerful enough to decrypt that cabal signal we intercepted. Unfortunately, 
We don't know where the network might be located. So, you're gonna have to snoop around, not draw too much attention. Got it. Securing this asset could turn the tide of this war with the Red Legion. Without it, I don't know what comes next. For being at war with the Red Legion, we honestly haven't fought them much. It's mostly just been fallen. A little bit of Red Legion, a little bit of Hive, but... It's mostly fallen. I imagine, like, later parts of the game we won't fight nearly as much fallen. It was the same thing with Destiny 1. You fight a bunch of Fallen at the first two planets, and then, like, by the by the time you get to Mars, there's, like, no Fallen. <laughs> and then they're like, man, you know what people want? More Fallen. And then they made an entire DLC about just the Looks Fallen. Looks like the Jeez. Fallen were trying to break through those tiles. It's okay. <laughs> uh, where are we? Am I? Over oh, over here. Did they not try shooting it? Did they not do that before? Whoa! This place looks really cool. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. It's like a... Sounds this like the Arcology's oh, operating nice. system is back online. I knew it. Keep an eye out for an OS access terminal. You can use it to pinpoint the CPU network. Uh, can't go through here. Is this a terminal? No, whoops, wrong button. I know how keywords work, guys. Yeah, no, I actually really like this environment. That's that's cool. Big open areas are neat when they look like that. It's like sensors in the store? No? Alright. Now, where are the enemies hiding? That is the question. I thought this was like... Like more an oil rig, but it's, I guess it's more of like a habitation zone, which is kind of neat. This is like some kind of futuristic shopping mall courtyard place. Reminds me a little bit of Mass Effect, honestly. But, you know, Mass Effect's pretty generic for sci-fi in terms of sharing spacey elements with a lot of other things. Over there. One of the access terminals we're looking for. Where? Here. Yay. Welcome to New Pacific Arcology. Russian and the Chinese, network is deep I think. Maintenance levels. Amanda, is this what we're looking for? Bingo! That's the place. Okay, I've got the location. Let's find a way down. Yeah, open this shit. Alright. What's... All over there, right? Where's my best friend, Contextual Flashlight, right? You think I'd get Contextual Flashlight by now, but... No. Oh, there's no way we're not gonna fight something here. <laughs> Show me the hive. Yeah, even the scout rifle is better than the impulse rifle for these guys, because you can kind of just control where you shoot, which is kind of nice. Of course, this is still probably the best, especially for the melee guys, but for the knights, the acolytes, revenue. Oh, I got a new... Wow, that's... We equipped that one. Hello. There go. That's the fiery melee ability I got. That should... Oh, you're alive? How did you... How did you stay alive, I should say. What? That looks like everyone. What's this? What am I looking at? It's like a little pod? Is that a high pod or something? Any idea what I scanned? Hive runes draw their oh, power from a different dimension, where there's no difference between a word and its meaning. When the hive erode the barrier between our dimension and theirs, the rune for death brings literal death. Sounds like some magic bullshit. Whoa, hello. Okay, yeah, that's why that's why we had such decent time with them, because they have fire shields. We have a goddamn fire machine gun, so... If you're using a normal weapon or any other element, I imagine you're way bigger pain in the ass. Looks like the hive dug a shortcut for us. Let's head down that hole in the ground. More things to investigate. Why not? These hive spawn pods are different from the ones we saw before. Maybe a different brood or a different generation. <laughs> 
Gross and confusing. Yeah, it's just alien biology. Definitely in hive territory. As far now. as gross aliens go, you can do way worse than Keep radio chatter to a minimum. We don't want to draw any unnecessary like attention. The collectors in Mass Effect 2. The flood, Halo. Hello. Forgot you guys can use swords sometimes. Ow. Ow. Okay, yeah, we're not using the semi auto here. Is that everyone? Nope. More. We good? I think we're good. You're shooting. Oh, hello. That would that would explain the shooting. Come on. One shot, one kill. And I think that might be everyone. Maybe not. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of guys over there. Let's see if we can take out some guys from range before we jump down. Oh, there's a piece of gear down there. I imagine we were supposed to drop down there and fight all of them close, but this works much better. And oh look, now we can't respawn. Is that a Acolyte? First thrall. Damn it. Those guys are annoying. Come on. Alright, there we go. Yeah, the challenge with fighting the knights is especially long range is to uh, take them down before they have the chance to shield. Because if you let them shield, they regenerate a bunch of their health, which sucks. Oh, oh, yeah, like that. Because when you're close, you can just walk around and but you actually have to work for it when you're far away. That worked. That worked really well, actually. Uh, we got some new pieces of gear, right? I got a new helmet, which I imagine is a lot better. Looks worse. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot better, though. And new that thing. There we go. We have 84 light power. It's called power. I think it was called... Was it called Light in the first game? I'm pretty sure it was. Or maybe it was just called Power and I'm just completely bullshitting myself. You know? Hello! Hi, boss. Yeah, these were the... the game. Wow, you really don't like the scout right Yeah, we'll do this. Down? Yeah, it looks like it. Wow. Yeah, those those uh Cyclops beam big assholes, they were in the first game as well. They were kind of treated as semi-bosses, kind of like wizards. Usually had a lot more health. See, look at all the seconds we're wasting just floating down instead of having a quick, like, turn off your friggin' jump jets. Uh, down again? No, there's no way. Way? There is way? I guess there is way. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, was I an idiot? Oh my god, if you, if you press space, you jump... Okay. You know, I, I'm gonna look like a fool. No, 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 I'm not going to. I already, I already look like a fool. You can totally just sink by pressing space. You should do that. Oh my god. <laughs> How did I not figure that out myself? Oh, I'm salty about that. Okay. Whatever. Ew. Where we? Nope. Over here. No? Excuse me. That's not a place to go. Is it? No, I have to go on top of this somehow, right? Maybe? Maybe not? Like, I would think I would have to go here, because they have all the uh, lights in this area, but... Guess not. Ah, from one foolish moment to the next, now I'm completely lost. Up here? No. It'd be more obvious than that, right? 
Maybe we weren't supposed to drop down. No, there's no way to get back up, right? Maybe we shoot this thing and it explodes in a huge mess. Maybe. Maybe Jonathan has to do some cutting. Which would fucking suck. I don't want to do any cutting. Wow, really? Really? I thought I shot this air. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Whatever, game. You know, a little bit more direction would have been nicer there. That's like... I'm not a fan of that. That's like actually point-and-click video game, kind of. Oh, if you shoot at every wall, you might actually get to this, like... Like, I would... I'd be, I'd be okay with it if, if the grate was like a little damaged maybe, like they could show, oh, there's something behind the grate, but no, that was a solid, opaque fucking grate, you know? Like, what did they expect me to do? Ow. Where did we go? Where are we? What the hell is this? Oh, hello. Whatever, we're past it now. I'll probably cut like the 30 seconds you saw of me just randomly shooting things. And that way. I think. Yes. Ooh, we're going really deep now. Is there just pipes and bullshit? Shouldn't I get electrocuted? Oh, guess not. And down here. Yeah, I don't think people are normally supposed to be down in these areas. I don't know where we could even be in relation to those oil rigs at this point. Oil rigs aren't this big, are they? I call them oil rigs even though they're not actually oil rigs. Oh, come on! Seriously? I even jumped at the right spot, too. Yeah, of course, they give you the checkpoint right there. They fucking know. Assholes. <laughs> oh, I actually have to... Oh, I have to run with this. Well, there's no way the hive didn't hear that alarm. Oh, we should have to we got run. The CPU, but we stirred up the entire hive colony, and it's a long walk to the surface. Do we get one of the tanks? They're not going to make it out of there, Commander. Like an actual good vehicle section. We should join the allies. To pick you up from there. Holiday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on it. Just, uh, do I just run? Do I just drive through it? Yeah, I guess. Aw, oh, this is kind of cool. Destiny 1 had these, like, optional bike sections, but you really didn't have to do your bike. This is actually pretty fun. I'll be there ASAP. I think there were a few moments in the DLC where they were like, oh, you have to be in your bike for this. Fly fast. This is a lot more like Halo. That, that makes me happy. Yeah, I mean, it's not an amazing sequence. It's far from it. It's, it's pretty simple, honestly. But, like, I think this is fun. Destiny 1 should have had more of this. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, I really don't want to drive off the edge. That would suck. You can handle kind of shittily like the Scorpion from Halo. <laughs> God, I hated how much the Scorpion some people swore by it, I was like, this is terrible. Oh god, I don't want to run into those guys, right? Like, I think I want to go around them, is that way? Because they explode? Well, this guy can run straight up. Oh, we're stuck. See, I wonder, they, they pretty much give you control of what kind of is the turret. I wonder if there's going to be a legit tank section later in the game. That would be awesome. Like, look, I can even move the turret on the top. There's no gun attached. It's just, just kind of like a funky driver's seat. Really cool. Got eyes on you, pal. Meet you at the end of the road. Hello. Good work, both of you. Let's get that oh, seat. Wow, yeah, this place, is, this place is huge. Things may finally be looking up for us. Man, I'm actually, like, I'm... I really hope there's going to be a legitimate tank section later in the game. It, I feel like it'd be a waste if they didn't. I mean, I don't want to set myself up for failure. I mean, set myself up for disappointment, but... What's this? Is this another one of those cryptic 
dream things, or is this the... It's a flashback? That place is fucked. And that looks super evil. Looks like one of those looks like a hive ship. Kinda like the first game, but it, it might not be. Don't actually know. But are they sucking energy from the sun or are they like metamorphosizing the sun or something? They call it the Almighty. Who calls it the Almighty? The crown jewel of oh, the it's Red, Red Legion. Legion. Okay. And life's work of their leader, Dominus Gaul. Gaul has subjugated hundreds of worlds. Oh, and they just like destroyed Those that, that sun. resisted no longer exist. You see, the Almighty I see. annihilates stars. I see with this cutscene that came out of nowhere, apparently. Yeah, blowing up stars is pretty bad. I heard I heard those things are pretty important. So if they can already do that, why do they want the Traveler? <laughs> Nothing and no one survives Gaul's ambition. What he wants is the Traveler. Yeah, why? And it's light. Why does he need the light when he has, like, magical sun explosion Death Star vision? As for the Almighty, it's now pointed at our sun. In short, sir, the war's over. And we've lost. Who's talking right now? Which character is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be Sloane or Holloway or... Like, maybe a tiny cutscene explaining what that cutscene was would have been nice. Just, just for a little bit of context, maybe? Is that too much to ask? A little bit of context? We built our home under the protection of the Traveler. When our enemies attacked, we built a wall stood for centuries but now walls mean nothing yeah, this guess enemy not, eh? has taken our home <laughs> taken our light oh my armor now, looks so silly they threaten our very existence we're going all in on this almighty how long before the fleet's combat ready Zavala wait if we wait we die but if we attack together, we can take back our home, Look our this light, angry, our bald hope, space elf. Or we die trying. Now, I need my fire team. I need Ikora and Kaid. Yeah, probably have to find those two on the other planets. How many planets are in this game? Like playable planets? Is it four? Like, is it, is it four? Like the first one? I say planet when, you know, one of them is Titan, which is clearly a moon. Yeah, I know. I'm just simplifying it. Come on, guys. Give me a break. Nessus. That's not in our soul. Oh, I bet we have to fight Vex. This looks like where the the, the raid from the demo was, you know? Yeah, and looks like we now have the option to... Yeah, there's a few Send side missions. I'll do these 15. myself. They're pretty boring. Uh, Nessus. Yeah, recommended power 80. Good We're one. actually good enough for that. Just but, yeah, we totally are. So we can go straight there. Uh, well, next time I am probably going to... When we come back next time, we'll go find Cade. And, yeah, I'll do the side missions by myself. So we'll probably have maybe a few different weapons and armor before we get back. But, you know, yeah, see you guys next time.